Joining me now, Wyoming Republican Senator John Barrasso, one of eight senators who traveled to Kiev over the weekend. Thank you, Senator, for joining me. I appreciate it. I just want to get your reaction to the referendum that took place yesterday, that overwhelming vote, and where does the U.S. go at this point? Well, they could have had the press release written on that before the voting even started, to the point that the Russians seized a Ukrainian uh, gas facility before the voting started. So this is no surprise. This was not a real uh, election. The question is, where do we go from here? We know that Vladimir Putin only respects strength. We know he already has troops lined up along the border of eastern Ukraine and is ready to pounce there as well. You were just in Ukraine. What did you hear from the leaders uh, in your conversations? What were your main takeaways and what were they asking for? This was a bipartisan and united group of senators uh, who went to listen to the leaders, the, the, to the president, the, uh, the prime minister. Uh, they need uh, help. They need assistance. They need sanctions. They need freezing of assets. Their military is quite hollowed out because the former leader was really a puppet for Putin. So as the, the prime minister told me that what they have in their military, nothing flies, nothing shoots, nothing works. They're going to need assistance uh, all around, and they're going to need a world world community to show strength against Putin, who only recognizes strength. And I believe he doesn't know what he is going to do yet. I believe he is calculating the credibility of his opponents on a daily basis. And Senator Barrasso, I want to pick up on the point that you just raised about sanctions. We anticipate that the U.S., its European partners, will be announcing sanctions as early as today and potentially against individuals. Is that enough, or do, do the sanctions need to have a bigger bite? Do they need to be targeted at banks, for example? Do they need to be targeted at Putin himself? Well, all of the above. It really needs to be targeted at the, the Russian economy. We know that over half of the money they have comes from selling energy by holding the Ukraine hostage, by holding Europe hostage. The best weapon we have in all of this, Kristen, is energy from the United States that we could be exporting to undermine the prices that Putin can charge those who he continues to hold hostage. And Senator, I know that you and other Republicans are calling for that, but the reality is even if you were to pass legislation tomorrow that sped up the process of approving natural gas exports, we wouldn't actually see those exports start to take place for several years. So is that anything more than a symbolic action? I mean, isn't there more that the U.S. can be doing right now? to send a strong message to Putin? The sanctions that you have mentioned are very important. We know that the uh, Russian stock market lost about 10 percent of value. Their currency uh, has been undermined as well. Those are important things, the economic sanctions, the freezing of assets. Long term, though, we have to undercut Russians' ability to charge exorbitant prices over four times as much for natural gas as we pay in the United States because the market is so limited. And remember, the first thing the Russians seized before the election started on Saturday night was the natural gas facility in, in the Ukraine. All right. Senator Barrasso, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.